Instead of using simple cards, if we use some sort of texture in our cards, it instantly enhances our card design. So in today's, today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to do these textures in our card in the Figma. Okay, to start with the design, we'll be needing a couple of things. One, Figma and a bit of knowledge for the Figma. Let's jump into that. So I'll be starting with MacBook 14 as always. Let me change the color to little dark. Let's add a card here. So far, so good. Mm, this should be enough. Okay. Can make it even darker. Maybe this much. Let's add shadow. I'll be starting with 100% so that. I can see the shadow at least. Now we'll reduce to this much. Fair enough. Now we'll be adding a couple of things maybe. Now we'll be adding some text on that like car design. Outfit is fine. Let's add the color. I use this plugin called Lorem just to enter any dummy data and it's quite easy. So I'll make the color to white for this one. And let's keep it light. This is fine. I'll delete the access data here. Okay, let's add something up here also. If I click on O, oh, I can create an, a good circle here. So I'll be using one more uh, plugin here called Avatars. You click on that, that's basically a big library of uh, good avatars there. So it's, those are like illustrations only, you can get a lot of, uh, even categorized. Vibrant, 3D, Bluey, Memo, Notion, Teams and a lot. I'll be using something from here. Uh, let's use this. Fair enough, let me decrease the size. Yeah, this is fine. Now from here, we'll be starting the main uh, texture design. Let me add border also in fact. Let's keep it outside. I'll be keeping gradient. Why I'll be keeping gradient border here? One, it gives a good metallic uh, design which uh, gets even little glowing also. Also it separates our dark uh, cards from the dark background. Okay. Okay, now let's copy it once again. Now I'll be removing this and this. Now there is a plugin called uh, Noise and Texture. So when you click on this plugin, it will give you a lot of uh, options to create uh, noise, texture, stairs, stars, a lot of things. As there are a lot of options, you can even create the animations here also. Whatever you like, okay? So I'll, we'll be sticking to the pattern patterns for the time and we'll be doing the starry pattern here. So from here, I'll be using this. You, I hope you can see the style here. Yeah, we can see that, right? Let me change the color to why it will increase the amount because we need a lot. So if, if I click on add to layer, it adds it to the layer. And the best part about this plugin is we can all even even let's see, let's say if I click close here, right? Still, I can edit the whole uh, texture. Either I can click from here or, or I can directly go here. So it's the same plugin, click on that. Uh, cool. So that's live here. 
right it's good so you can always go ahead and change your design whenever you feel like changing it okay that's fine i guess once you are satisfied with your texture you can just click close okay so we'll be copy paste once again close we uh, then we'll mask it okay i use command control m for uh, windows i guess it's con uh, control alt uh, m or you can always just uh, double uh, right click on the layer and then you can uh, choose uh, mask here will be mask because i have already masked it so that's why it's remove mask okay so here we will be adding the gradient so this one i'll be keeping zero opacity this will be 100 so that we can create a little smooth transition here right maybe that is fine yeah fair enough so we'll be duplicating the same once again control c control v okay so once we have masked this one we'll group it once again then inside this group we'll be creating a circle okay let me move it inside so once we move it inside we need to add some blur to it the layer blur in fact so that if when we mask it we can see the texture right away okay so we'll click here right click then use as mask okay okay there is one more thing as we are using a lot of things here there is image and this tool so if we remove the color we have the only image and then applied layer blur to the lips here and it's masked so that works more like a spotlight we can always increase our layer blur to make it more smooth we can change the style in fact so it's just more like we, we need to play around uh, however we want uh, the lightning to work uh let me see so if we change the color to this one fair enough so i just press alt uh, option in mac or you can press alt and then just click and drag your existing component to duplicate it okay so this color let's add it here keep it white capacity to to we can play around with this a little okay. this is as simple as that. that that's how you can create your uh, uh, designs uh, like this so if, if you fiddle around a little more as i'm creating it like in quite a hurry and uh, you fiddle around a little you can always uh, end up having stuff like this that like uh, maybe if you use the noise that's how you can create the uh, cards the stars waves and stairs i'll be adding uh, these whole cards in the description you can always go ahead and uh, download the same file and see how it worked i'll be as you can see i haven't renamed any file here but i'll be renaming it so that you can guys uh, uh, understand it in a better way right you can always uh, check uh, how it was working if you guys have any sort of a question you can always comment below or uh, dm me on my instagram i'll be mentioning here at the bottom somewhere and you can dm on my whatsapp i'll be replying you we can get in touch if you have any question i can uh, and i have the answer to that i'll be definitely answering you okay thanks for watching my this video and stay tuned for my next video and i hope you learned something uh, new uh, from our today's video and please hit the like button and uh, subscribe for more updates like that it, it, it's free for you but it helps me a lot it keeps me motivated so that i can create the content thanks